These newlyweds and their entire wedding party, 18 people in total, are crammed into a Hummer stretch limo on their way to the reception. As you can see, the party's already underway. Then this. We started to notice kind of a, kind of a weird smell yeah. coming um, from it. We were all the way at the back. The limo driver pulls over and all 18 people pour out. They find themselves on the side of the busy road in Grand Rapids, Michigan. At first, it doesn't appear to be all that serious. Maybe the engine just overheated. It looked almost like the reception started on the side of the road. Oh, it did. <laughs> it did. Then the fire quickly starts spreading. I don't think we were afraid until the limo driver, he was like, oh, there's flames. And so he got out his fire extinguisher and we were like, oh yeah, we need to like book it down the side of the highway to get away yeah. from this. Pretty soon, the entire limo is engulfed. But this bride, Izzy Keel, is no bridezilla. She's the opposite, taking the misadventure in good cheer. Yeah. We're going, wait a minute. This is my wedding day. It's supposed to be perfect. <laughs> no, I definitely wasn't doing that. I was with all my best friends, so we were still having a blast. And so I think just getting out on the side of the highway kind of made it even funnier. With the temperature hitting 90 degrees, police told Izzy and her groom, Brendan, to cool off in the air-conditioned squad car. Your first memory as husband and wife, how cute. A second limo came to the rescue and the party got going again. Somebody call 911. Oh, and get this. The limo that caught on fire was a charred wreck. The only thing that came out intact was the cooler with all the booze. He was like, they saved the beer and the ice. So we had all of our alcohol back. If it rains on your wedding, that's supposed to be good luck. What does it mean if your limo catches on fire? I think it's a good sign. I think it's a sign of burning love. Yeah. <laughs>